Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello, and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast where we have digital discussions, the worlds of pop culture, social media, of course, sports, and we do a lot of hockey. As always, I'm your host, Peter Miliotis, and on Twitter, you know me as PD Beats. My guest is a returning guest on Pop Turnative. He is a prospect for the Tampa Bay Lightning in the National Hockey League. We are speaking to Nolan Foote. Nolan, welcome back to the show. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for having me again. No problem. I mean, we 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 chatted about kind of you getting prepared for your big year in Kelowna and getting prepared for your draft year last time you were on. The day has happened. Mm-hmm. You were drafted in the first round of the 2019 NHL entry draft by the Tampa Bay Lightning. I mean, I'm sure there weren't any words to kind of describe what had happened at the time. Yeah, well, just, you know, being in the same organization as Cal and Getting drafted to Tampa, it's unreal, but just getting drafted in general, it's, it was just a great feeling. It was awesome, you know, sharing that moment with your family and, and being in the stands and all the adrenaline, you don't even, it doesn't even feel real when you go up there, but it was amazing. It was so fun. Just seeing the smiles on your dad's face and uh, your brother's face, I mean, just like, it, it, it was just like, it was a real cool moment. Yeah, it was really cool, and, and even after the media and some photo stuff after, I just coming back to them, my family, and, and but for about a week and a half, like still even now, we're just still in shock that I went to Tampa, the odds of that happening, and, and being in the same organization, playing junior with Cal, and now playing one day, hopefully, in the NHL together, it's it's crazy, but um, yeah, they were really happy, and, and it was a fun night. I mean, you kind of, uh, sometimes even when you go into, like, so at the NHL Combine, you know, you do interviews with teams, and, and sometimes you'll go into an interview and you say, oh, wow, that went really well, you know, they really liked me, but you really have no idea. Was there a little bit of kind of an idea that maybe Tampa Bay were, was going to draft you because of Cal and everything? Have you ever Did that come into mind at all? Um, you kind of, like, thought about it because their pick was in, in my range. So, I mean... Yeah, that was in the back of your head, but you're just hoping to go to any team at that point. And then, and at the combine, I did have a great conversation with Tampa, and then it was it was really good. And but they didn't give off any any clues or idea that they're gonna pick me. Or it was just a normal interview. You know, it was a bit of talk about Cal, but it was just pretty simple. The goal, the goal is to get drafted, but you know, um, I'm sure it's a little bit of a confidence boost that you were able to get drafted in the first round of the National Hockey League. Are you going to kind of use that as like momentum and fuel going into the beginning of the year and training camps and in Kelowna as well? Mm-hmm, definitely, it was for sure a confidence booster. It's um, it's just you know that go walking up on stage and 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 sharing that being with your NHL team right there in that moment and. And meeting everyone else at the draft table, and then having those interviews, and then just you're you're so excited. You have so much going on, and it was it's awesome. It's definitely going to help me going into, you know, Tampa's training camp, Columbus training camp, and then my next year in Columbus. So it'll be good. In terms of your style of game and what kind of player, who exactly did the Tampa Bay Lightning draft? I just I think they drafted the you know I'm obviously six three power forward so. Definitely going to use my body lots. I, I use my body. I'm good at protecting the puck and, and using my size to an advantage. I got a good shot, but I think I can play 200 feet of the ice for sure. I think I can be relied on both ends of the ice. It's interesting. This It's related more towards your brother because you are a forward. We talked about it last time you were on. Your brother's a defenseman and your father was a defenseman. We kind of touched on why you chose to go the forward route or why it happened. So if people want to refresh her, we, they can watch the first episode. But... People were referring to, especially in the in the defense, that um, Kelowna is a defenseman factory. The term factory in terms of the players that they've built over the years. Mm-hmm. You look at, you know, Lassie Thompson that got drafted by the Ottawa Senators. You look at Tyson Barry, Madison Bowie. You look at some of those players. Your brother, Cal Foote. It's just an unbelievable... Um, crop of defensemen what do you think are elements of the Kelowna rocket system that allows for these amazing defensemen to become developed Nolan well I just you know, obviously through the years they've had such good defensemen and and you know this upcoming year uh will we'll be really good on the back end but I think just uh I think 
obviously the coaching staff um, is a huge part, the management and all that, the scouts, Lauren Fry and who they bring in, it's huge. And um, Lassie was definitely a snag in the Euro draft because we had a later pick that year. But I think um, I think it's definitely just our management and obviously, you know, Colorado Rockets and the CHL, it's like, you know, one of the teams like we're like the Yankees of baseball, like we're just professional and and, and it's like that. So I think just, you know, I think Colorado's just done a really good job. Do you ever think about, especially being a forward, do you ever think about the fact that you were kind of part of an organization that developed players like Leon Dreisaitl, that are players mm-hmm. that have had such an impact in the National Hockey League? I mean, that is another, like, conf- quote-unquote, momentum booster that could happen to guys like Nolan Foot. Definitely. Uh, I remember I went uh, I went to Kelowna after Cal's Bantam draft, and Dreisaitl was playing. It was against Brandon in, in the playoffs, and I just it was he was just really good, and obviously you didn't see the he had 100 points this year. He's just he had a sick year, so obviously it's that was huge for Kelowna as well. And, and looking at that, it definitely helps. On the ice, it's important to have size, but at the same time, it's also important to use your size. Is that something that you kind of? Um, uh, have been kind of thinking about in your past couple years of development, you know, a big player, you know, getting in the por- corners deep, kind of using your body because you have that big frame and that 200-foot game as well, right? Mm-hmm. That's uh, a lot of teams said that to me, you know, throughout the year, scouts I met with their combine and that. And I even that's one of the things I said was, you know, once I continue to grow into my body and, you know, each every five pounds I put on is going to be more confidence. So definitely using my body is something that I have to, take advantage of my size and then use it really well because because i can so i think for sure absolutely you mentioned you know tab bay lightning camp Kelowna camp there's another camp that you didn't mention nolan <laughs> that yeah, uh team canada. yeah team canada the, the summer showcase Mm-hmm. which is something kind of really cool and unique because it's a opportunity for a holiday you know like more Christmas time, winter time tournament, but it kind of gets the focal point a little bit in in the summer. Um, I, you know, your brother got an opportunity to play in that tournament and win a gold medal. I guess that's also kind of on the um, the list as well, the bucket list as well for Nolan Foot in terms of you know games that you really want to play in. Yeah, it's for sure a goal of mine to make. Team Canada this year, and I'm really excited to show what I can do. And then, you know, head there to Plymouth in, in a few weeks. It's going to be awesome. It's a lot of good players. It's going to be challenging, and you're obviously going to play, you know, the top teams in the world. So it's it's going to be good. I'm excited. I want to know. So with your father, you know, being your coach, that's a situation that is. It's a very unique situation, and especially having um, coaching yourself and coaching your brother, it's a situation that one can make an argument would be a difficult situation at times for yourself and for your brother and maybe for your father as well. Um, Talk a little bit about how, um, you know, the positive impacts of having a guy like your father who played, had an amazing career in the National Hockey League that you you know you know very well gets to also coach you and help develop you as well, Nolan. Mm-hmm. That was the you know when the team brought him in. That was the biggest thing was his knowledge with with the with the game and you know everything he's learned. So um, it was basically last year we we're just trying to build up our team for this year. Obviously, hosting the Memorial Cup it's a huge year, and and having him on board is just something that's personally really good for me. He didn't get hired because of me. He got hired because. You know, we need a new coach, and what he can do, what he knows, is is really good, and it's going to help us and be very beneficial. But it, it's awesome. It's uh, it can be difficult at times, and, and and if he gets on guys in the locker room, I'm I'm close with everyone, so it it makes it easy at times that being in good relationships with everyone, because because it's easy for them to bond with him, and and, and you know, there's no you no know, arguing or stuff like that between the teammates and I. But it's it's good. 
No, absolutely. I'm kind of curious. Growing up, um, you know, playing minor hockey and, and and watching your father play, you know, for the Colorado Avalanche and representing Team Canada as well in, in huge events. Um, did you ever? Did you or your brother ever kind of think or kind of almost predict that your father, after his pro career, would kind of move into coaching? Like, was it not surprising for you that he became a coach at a junior level and possibly a pro level down the road? Yeah, um, I don't think so. I mean. He kind of knew it was going to come. He coached us in, in Bantam and Midget, both Cal and I. So um, I know he really likes it and he wants to stay involved with the game and he knows so much about the game. So um, if he moves on to an NHL team, I know he's going to bring a lot to them and, and be a really good coach. So I think he will and I hope he does and, and wherever it's going to be awesome. Absolutely. The off season is a time um, to, you know, unwind, of course, a lot of teams have a lot of players have you know vacation time you know what i mean with their family and their friends but you know the the going to the gym and the working out and working on things it never stops i feel like it kind of, that kind of gets left in the shadows a little bit how important is it for nolan foot specifically to kind of maintain that workout in the gym and on the ice in the off season even when there is some time to have some fun and have some leisure activities you still have to put the work in in the off season it's it's very important and obviously we didn't make playoffs this year, so we've had a lot of summer, and that means a lot of training for me, and um, it's been a packed summer for me, so I've just been training hard, and then right now, Cal and I, we're in Montreal right now, training for Tampa Bay's trainer lives here, so we're here, and, and we've been here a few weeks, so it's awesome. It's uh, it's helping a ton, and, and it's what I need. I need to grow into my frame, like I said, so it's good for me, and, and it's, it's needed. No, absolutely. How does the team react to not making the playoffs and hosting the memorial cup that's quite a transition mm -hmm. yeah it's a big transition and i think that's the second time Kelowna hasn't made playoffs in you know all their years so it's it's hard but obviously i think i believe in our management management to make good moves and, and get good guys down the line and 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 even our coaching staff to develop our younger players and, and you know get our systems down you know just continue to get better um, so we'll see what happens. I'm excited. It's going to be an awesome year. But you know, the guys that were on the team last year, I hope, I hope they took this off season, you know, taking it seriously with the training and, and, and training hard because it's very important to come back bigger, stronger, better, and then and be ready because it's such a big year and you never know what's going to happen. Absolutely, you mentioned you're in Montreal, and it's one of those things where a lot of people know this. You are dual uh, dual citizen because you were born in the in the United States, but you choose to play for Canada as well because your father. Um, What's important to me to know is that you chose to play for Canada, um, but it's no surprise that, especially with this draft, with a lot of the guys that got drafted with you in the first and second round specifically, the U.S. Um, the USA hockey program is rocking right now. Yeah, they <laughs> they definitely dominated that first round and you know the draft. I think they had seventeen guys go, so that's very impressive and that's that's good for them. That was a great great age group great draft and and you know it's good but i'm gonna continue to stick with team canada no absolutely um you mentioned it a little bit last time the um your dad playing and having those amazing um opportunities to represent um team canada you mentioned it that was kind of one of the, like a little bit of a reason why you kind of decided to keep the legacy going is it safe to say that's still kind of one of the main reasons mm -hmm, for sure yeah, i even ex got to experience you know i was young but i remember parts of his you know olympics in italy i was there for that and then that was awesome i was i was too young for to remember his, him winning in salt lake but just you know him representing his country and then cal and i being able to follow those footsteps it's just one of, it's one of the biggest reasons why we chose to Final question before I wrap up. I don't know if we talked about this last time or not. Actually, before that, did you know that everyone on that USA national team, the development team, w was invited to a development camp? Really? Which is crazy. <laughs> Isn't that crazy <laughs> to think, though, that everyone got, even yeah. the guys who didn't get drafted, got invited to a camp? That is, yeah. They were a really good team, so it's pretty expected. <laughs> 
you're a player going into a big year in junior hockey with the Kelowna Rockets. There's a lot to prove. You're ready for it. You got drafted in the first round. It's going to be a big year. You're in a position, though, where you're still a younger guy. You are a kid who's playing in the WHL and the CHL in general, whether you look at the QMJHL or the OHL. It's a pro setting. It's, a, it's, it's you know, a situation where you're on the road all the time. You have to maintain a schedule. Um, you know, there's practices. You have fans. You have community events the pro setting you're in an interesting interesting spot because for one you are looking up to you know people like your older brother or pros in the nhl that you meet because you're still a young guy but at the same time nolan there's some kids that are younger than you that are looking up to you as well but at the same time you're also growing and developing have you ever thought about that because it is an interesting situation Mm mm-hmm it's awesome. I, well, I'll start with I love the route that I chose going to the WHL, and then, and Kelowna, it's a great spot. We have a lot of great promos. You, you know, you go to schools and you're playing ball hockey with kids, so that's that's awesome. That feels good, and you meet a lot of fans throughout the year. You meet your season ticket holders and stuff like that, so it feels good, obviously, and you get that connection with the fans, and you know you're liked, so it feels really good. But um, obviously, I mean. You know, it's kind of cool now you're at the age where, you know, younger kids are looking up to you, you got kids who play hockey, you know, you autographs, certain, certain stuff like that. It's awesome when when I remember clearly me doing that in the Avs locker room or wherever it was, you know, can you sign this, can you sign that? So it's, it's, it's a really cool experience. Oh, absolutely. Nolan, we will wrap up, but thank you so much for coming back on Popternative. I really, really appreciate uh, you taking the time. I know you're busy trading in Montreal, and there's, you know, uh, the World Junior Showcase camp coming up, and it's just going to be nonstop, and it, and it has been very busy for you as well. So thank you for mm-hmm. taking the time, man. Yeah, thank you very much for having me again. Where can people follow you on social media? I know you, you're not a big social media guy, but you do. You, you have been using it uh, a bit more lately, and you've been a bit more active on it, and I think the blue check marks are in play right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my my Instagram's Nolan Foot, and I don't use Twitter much, but it's I think it's Foot underscore Nolan. So, yeah, that's the only social media I have. Beautiful, beautiful man. Well, congratulations and all the best. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, this has been Pop Turnative, YouTube.com slash Pop Turnative for previous episodes, and until next time, this is Nolan Foot and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.